Now you feel me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um, okay. I, I got. Let me let me go through this article before I let you um say some. Okay. I got, I got, I got a recap from this article that I did cover last year. If you want to say or say anything, you can go ahead while, while I'm finding this article. So we don't. Have that so I was just asking. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been listening to the show and we talk about single mothers this, single mothers that. But mm -hmm. I think when you're saying that women are choosing to be single mothers, I mm -hmm. think you're not understanding that that's not really a drag on a woman. You would have to say, what is wrong with us as men that women rather choose to be single mothers? I know two mm -hmm. women who have chose to be single mothers. That mm -hmm. doesn't say anything about them and it's like y'all try mm -hmm. to make single mothers be such these evil people when you're not turning around and looking at yourselves so mm -hmm. the two people that i know who chose to be a single mother one is very wealthy and one is an uh, average girl and uh the very wealthy one cannot find uh, a mate that makes first of all she she can't find a mate in her uh, uh, financial range that likes black women. That's that's number one. Uh, so she can't find a mate that's making as much money as her. The younger one, she, she, she said that, what is the point of having, of not being a single mother when black men don't stick around anyway? So these are two narratives. Like when you're asking, you're, Y'all not even asking why people are single. In 2000s, in the year 2000 or whatever, 2020, why women are choosing to become single moms, uh, it has to do a lot with the men. So when y'all sitting up here saying this, y'all be sounding, sounding foolish a lot of times. Like, oh, single motherhood is so bad. Men could put a stop to that. They could absolutely put a stop to it. They Y'all choose not to. Women are not going to stop having the instinct to bear children just because our men can't get it together. That's, that's, that's not going to happen. Y'all don't have our hormones. So y'all would never understand it. So you can't sit up there and bash a woman for being a single mother because our men are choosing not to marry us. Our men are choosing to date white and Asian men, women. Our men are choosing not to be in their kid's life. They're choosing all this stuff. So 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 what's what's so bad about the single mothers that the men didn't create? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh let me see. That's a lot. Um let me follow you. Um in regards I I, I would stop you. All right, let me see if I can get this. Um in regards to the men just walking out the matter of fact, we'll start with your friend. Your friend um from Texas or from Georgia? She's from somewhere in the United States. Okay. But is it down south, east coast? No, she's up north. She's up north. All right. Well, damn, she's gonna have a hard time. Well, and I, I probably assume it could be New York or New Jersey or one area. All right. Um, and is she like say early 30s, late 20s? My friend is in her 40s now. And she has no kids, right? No. Okay. Mm. Um well, I'm not sure what she does career-wise, but she's a lawyer. Oh, uh, oh, you know, you know, Ebony K. Williams is a partial lawyer too. You know, she's a lawyer too, right? Ebony K. Yeah. Oh well, you, well, you know, actually, to be honest, to to go back, she's actually a personalist. She's like a what do you call it? She's in media, so she's more media than lawyer. But but far from the point is the issue with this. Um, and you didn't feed me because you know you already had your kid, man. You, you you're not really looking, so you're you're fine at this point, right? But for right. Friend, at this point, going on for this long, the thing that comes to mind as a man, I'm be honest, and I'm I'm going to get pushed back, and that's fine. That for women like that, that was not a priority that she focused from the start, especially if she was in college or even walking out of college, going into the real world and dating. Usually college be better, but if you're going outside the institution, very challenging. 
to find a mate, especially if, if, if you're going to potentially project yourself to make a certain amount of money, you're going to be around a circle of men that's going to be your field. And it, the question has to be bigger as, why didn't they choose you? And I'm not going to go by your looks, not you, but your friend. But I say you're around these men that are at the same economic status and probably going to be at higher in your field. And you were, you, and you were not even picked. So it makes a question, are you... So I, I'm going to ask you, Yeah. why do you think my friend didn't get picked? Well, I, I can't give a snaps what she looked like, which is one factor, mind you, one what, factor. What, but, what? The, but the other factor the other factor is how is she sociable? How does she care herself? My friend me? is a sweetheart. She has she's natural hard. hair. She's but tall. Members, like she, tall. She's everything that men say that they want. But she has dark skin. Oh, oh my God! No, not this again, thing. Come on, man! Jesus Christ, man! So, so, so let's let's go back to talk. Oh no, not let's this. go back to talk. You said oh. that right, she go, wasn't go. focused on this. Uh, you said oh, something about before her before going to school. Before we continue, she's dark. Is she fat? Number one. She's plus size. All right, continue. But she's very tall. We'll, 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 we'll talk. Tall. Let me, let me Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So, right. so, so, so you talked about her not being focused on this. So my friend, her dad is a, he used to be an NFL player. Her brothers are in the, whatever the baseball league is called, the National Baseball League. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it'd be so funny when you hear men say, oh, women weren't focused on getting a man. When a mm -hmm. woman has a father, their father is not teaching them to mm -hmm. so my friend is she's very wealthy she's always been wealthy she's been wealthy since she was a kid so what she notices even about her brothers both of her brothers marry white women because they are they do they they are the upper class so when y'all say oh y'all women should have been worried about this i i i, 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 I i've known this girl for a long time her dad never told her that her dad never told her, oh, okay. you got to do this and that. My, her dad told her to go to school and be a lawyer. And that's what she did. I don't that's even. It. Yeah. Yeah. He, he didn't really give him like any actual advice or even as far as, you know, if she's dating, which most people are dating, let's keep real that. And she found someone that is somewhat suited because eventually if you're dating and it's more than, let's say three months going on to six months, it's not just dating. You're, you're almost like in the relationship stage. And at the time, if you're beyond six months, especially depending if she was in school or out of school, rather, it's going to come a point where, you know, she's going to have to bring him to her father. Did she get to that point? Is she that woman say, you know what, I'm going to bring him to why, why? Why would she do that when her mother okay. didn't do it? Why, why, would, why would she not listen to... Mm -hmm. So if her mother met her father in college, right? Yeah. Why would the mindset... <laughs> Of those people be <clears throat> to teach their daughter not to go to college and you should domesticate yourself to please a man. I, I, I'm I no, 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 no. I, I actually, actually, most majority parents, to be honest with you, they always emphasize that their children should seek and move to higher education on the average to potentially get a good job and to have a functioning, um, I don't say career, but to make, um, be sufficient enough where they will get a good paying job. Okay, That's so I agree with that. Yeah. Right? So yeah. why are we told that oh nobody cares about your degree when our parents when our parents taught us to go get a degree? Why are, why are y'all saying now is I don't I, I'm guessing you're between 35 and 40. Why are men between 35 and 40 years old? Mm -hmm. They grew up in the 70s and 80s with us, which I'm sure your parents told you the same thing to go get an education. If you, or I'm not saying specifically you, if any of these men yeah. have uh, sisters, if they have sisters, they know for damn sure that when they were in the house, I mean, all black people were taught that. Go get an education. Go get an education. I don't yeah, understand okay. where, where, if, 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 and I said this on another person's podcast that I was with, and he hung up on me. I said, yeah. my dad raised two two girls and a son. Yeah. He didn't teach none of us about 
being wives nor my brother about being a husband. We learned about fixing a car. We learned about, uh, mm -hmm. you know, getting jobs and going to college. That was never the focus in my house. I know it wasn't the focus in my next door neighbor's house. I know it wasn't yeah. the focus with my best friend that lived down the street. So yeah. where are y'all getting this idea that women should be uh, these wives without no education when that's what we were taught? Because y'all, that's that's the argument that are used against us. I heard you earlier say something about mm -hmm. boss women and women being bosses. I mean, I don't think we want the college to the not be bosses. Like, no, I, I, I don't think I said if you're a boss. I don't remember saying that personally, but okay. I was saying, but maybe I was somewhere else. Okay, but I, I'm just trying to figure out the uh, and every time I ask a man this, I can never get the answer about, especially when they're talking about, oh, the women overseas were raised to do this. So this all I hear in my mind. So you're mad mm -hmm. that my dad didn't teach me to be a wife because that's not in our culture. You're in the same culture as me. So, so what are you talking about? So you're blaming me for my parents or any of our parents not being Asian parents and having Asian values when we're not Asian. That's essentially what y'all are doing. So now since we've heard it over and 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 over again, women still want to be mothers. They just don't want our men around because all they do is talk crap on us. So, so we can't sit up here and seriously talk about single motherhood like this when black men are not creating an environment for us to even want to be with you. Every time I'm on YouTube, it doesn't matter what channel I go on, there's a man talking about a black woman. It doesn't matter what the, the stuff. I was watching this man like in Africa because, you know, I'm interested in Africa and I'm just okay. watching this man in Africa and he tried to talk to these women and the women did not want to talk to him. They didn't want to be on camera. You know, the first thing he said, the mm -hmm. first thing he said, oh, they must be out here cheating on their husbands. That's why they don't want to be on camera. I said, you can't go. And somebody in the comments had to tell him, no, that's their culture. They cannot talk to other men like that. And they're not going to be on camera to talking to other men. So you in Africa, you don't know the culture. And the first thing that you assumed about these African women or that they must be cheating on their men. This is all we hear all day. Why would we want to have children with these men when they're in Africa on safari? The first thing they think about a black woman is that she she ain't no good. She must be cheating on her men. Mm -hmm. And and another thing is y'all you you us are in our we're in our forties and stuff. But girls that are in their twenties are listening to this, and mm -hmm. older men really think that these young girls would even be interested in them. <laughs> When y'all talking about black women like dogs. Well, okay, I, I will say this before we continue on. And you know, you jump ahead. Before we talk about older men and younger women, we, we gotta understand. Um, and I think what's the name? Um KW wrote some and I'll read in a second. When we when we talk about um the education and being um, I guess wives, it, it is a constant work, you know. And you gotta understand, Femi. American people in general work. Men and women work. And I'm not sure if there was one point in existence that women didn't have to work. You get me? And what the black women always had to work. Yeah, yes, yes. So we gotta understand that is you could what they call work and cook, you know, chew and bubble gum at the same time. And that's not what is being seen. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the issues. The other thing is this. Um, Wait, go back. You said we're not doing what? We're not cooking, No, like like said? I said, like, you know, if the man works and let's say a woman works, right? Right. And everybody comes home. People have to eat, socialize, then go to sleep. You're not seeing that. You get me? One works, right. the other one works. Oh, wait. Some, all right. I got to fix that. Everybody complains, say, who's going to? Eat who I'm cook cook eat and I said who's gonna take care of this and then it becomes a problem. Wait, why is my thing doing this? So that's the biggest issue that there's no actual roles and usually the stage before we get into the marriage stage usually 
we, 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 we do these things ahead so that we get to, you know, the bigger stage, which is, you know, ring and merch. You get me? But we're not uh -huh. going to do that. So, you know, that's the complaint with some with the, the, the men. You get me? Now, in regards to um the education piece, personally, um, I have no problem with it. Um, And a lot of dudes who have no problem is, I think it's the entitlement and there's it, a lot of um, ego with the ladies when it comes to the education piece. Like, you know, they got this, so they feel they're in a, a certain status. So they, in their mind, are better. So they don't have to really do anything traditional because I am more superior, right? It's money or so-called what knowledge, which is really... What, what are men doing that's traditional that a woman should be traditional? I mean, men have to still be productive. They have to work, pay They some. have to work anyway. They're adults. They're adults. We all have to work. I'm asking you... What are men doing that's traditional that's going to uh, balance out what y'all want women to do that's traditional if so the woman what, is working? So my question, what are men doing that is not traditional should be the question. Okay, I, so why complain about women that are not in traditional roles if y'all know that y'all are not traditional? How is that fair? And you're saying that these men are not traditional, right? If the wife, if, you, if you're telling me that the man and a woman is coming home and a woman's not cooking and that's the issue because the woman's not being traditional, you've already killed that because they're both working. If, if two people are working, what makes you think that I should overexert myself more when we're both working 40 hours a week? Why, why do you think, it, why, why do I have to be traditional if you're not being traditional? Okay, I'm I'm gonna let um the elder explain it in more detail.